What's up guys? As you can probably tell by the title of the video, today we're talking about the Nintendo Switch. But not just the Nintendo Switch, the first Nintendo Switch versus the new V2 that they've released that has a better battery life. We're going to see what they look like side by side and at the end of it I'm going to tell you which one I think that you should buy. Alright, so rolling right into it, right in front of us, you'll see both boxes. The one right here under my left hand is the box for the first Nintendo, the first Nintendo Switch. Uh, how you tell them apart if you're looking at buying one is that the first Nintendo has this more white box. Uh, the new Nintendos that have come out, they have this nice slick red design. So if you're looking in GameStop or you're somewhere and you're like, man, I don't, I don't really know which one it is and I can't open it to check out the serial number on the back, that's the way you tell. Easy peasy. Newer one, older one, you won't mix up the light because it's completely different packaging. All right, when you open it up, you'll actually see your Switch, the Joy-Cons right underneath here. You have your dock, you have HDMI cable, and you have your charger. Awesome, it's the same for both, so I won't waste your time with looking at the other one. You'll notice there's no Switch in there. That's because I actually already have them raring and ready to go. So right here, we have the V1, the V2. I have a little gameplay on each one. On the V1, we have Smash Brothers Ultimate, and on the V2, we have New Super Mario Brothers Deluxe U Switch. So, checking that out, I felt like those would be two games that have similar color palettes. They, they feel kind of the same. Uh, it'd be a great comparison for what we're trying to do here. Uh, so let's look at the first one. Jumping right in, if I just resume that gameplay, I don't know how well you'll actually be able to see it. It's not, oh, I'm gonna die. It's not that clear. Uh, but what I've noticed is that while, while the first Nintendo looks great, don't get me wrong when I say it's not that clear, it's just not that clear on your camera. While the first Nintendo looks great, there's something about the V2 that's just so much more vivid. I feel like it has a lot more color depth, uh, as well as a, I know it's hard to tell in the video, but a more true to color display. So when I look at this, things that are blue, things that are cooler, actually are appearing cooler Whereas in the V1, they're warmer. Uh, and that's across the board on everything that I've played. When I do switch the games out onto each console, uh, it, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that new Super Mario Brothers on this, on the V1, just doesn't look quite the same. Does It looks a little warmer than it does on the V2. Now, is there anything different other than the screens when it comes to these two units? Not really. Um, honestly, they both have the same size screen. The Joy-Cons feel the same, they're the same size, except when you get to the battery life. The battery life for the Switch version 1 is rated at 2.5 to 6.5 hours depending on the game that you're playing. So something like Zelda Breath of the Wild, it's going to use a little more battery power than say something like Pokemon Quest. However, for the V2, the battery life is rated at 4.5 to 9 hours. So you can get a significant bit more time in Zelda just by having the V2. And at the same price point of about $300 US, I can't see any reason why someone would not want to go with the version 2 over the version 1. Now, this next part, take with a grain of salt, because the version 1 is a little bit older than the version 2. This is brand new. I got it two weeks ago. This is a few weeks, or well, this is a few months old. But what I've noticed also with the version 1 is the build quality doesn't seem to be quite as quite as tough. Now if you look, if I take this Joy-Con off, it doesn't really look any different. Still metal, still tough. However, it's just got a little bit of give to it, honestly. Version 2 doesn't seem to have that. It's got the same weight, but it's got a nice, very sturdy build that you honestly kind of wouldn't expect from a game console whose remotes detach from, from the unit. Now, don't get me wrong, there is a little bit of wiggle, but it doesn't feel as much. These things feel really seated. I'll go ahead and take that side off. Everything looks the same. It's really in there, but something about the V2 feels a little better. Now, the reason I said take that with a grain of salt is because I do realize this is an older unit. The V2 could feel like this in a few months. With extensive playing, obviously the more you play it, the more you use it, the more likely it is to wear down. So that's something to keep in mind. But just to recap everything though, same size, same weight, 
The V2 has a slightly nicer screen, but nothing in the spec says that it should. It just appears that way to me. It does have a significantly longer battery life. I'd have to say go with the V2. If you were like me and you were like, hey, I'm just going to hold off to see what the newest version of the Switch and the Switch Lite looks like and is going to be like, now's the time to buy. I'd have to recommend the V2. You're not going to be out any more money, but you're going to get every bit of the functionality of the first Switch docking, tabletop mode, removable Joy-Cons that you're not going to get with the Switch Lite. I think it's a win. I think it's a win-win situation. Thank you guys so much for watching, for tuning in and supporting the channel. You guys are the best. Make good decisions. Buy the console that's right for you. Hey guys, my name is Webby Pumpkin 262 and I'd love to invite you to hang out with me Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday nights at Mixer.com forward slash Webby Pumpkin 262. We play a ton of games with friends like Minecraft, Fortnite, you name it. As long as it's like rated T and under, we'd like to try to keep it family friendly. It's there. Parents, you don't have to worry. Safe for your kids. Love for you guys to hang out. Check out the merch. Follow me on social. See you there.